Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here and we're going in for our last path in 7.2 in the Karina's 7 for 7 challenge. This is the team I'm bringing. Um, those are the champs that I had the option to bring that I did not consider to use. And um, yeah, so let's go over here to this old man Logan. So this is the juiced path. Um, which I definitely recommend just because it makes the Gwen um, Master so much easier. This has got Armored Assault, which basically means they're going to be unblockable once they get an armor up. And every 10 hits that hit me, I dare you, they're going to get an armor up. Um, it's got Mix Master, so you definitely got to hit under the stun and or do the typical Mix Master alternating medium light, heavy however you're going to do your combos um, and you just want to make sure that you do get that armor break on that 10th hit um, because if you don't then you're going to have to deal with that hit into the block they're going to evade with mix master yada 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 so Hulkbuster's great because he's got an armor break on a special one um, and he's putting in a ton of work with just like doing parry heavy. So one hit uh, minimizes the hit me I dare you. I get the shocks, I get the enhanced attack because more shocks on the opponent. Um, you get uh, more, more attack rating. And then it's got the debuff, synthesis, stun, and armor break. And you can see that I was getting some cold snaps when you do that. So if you stun them and armor break them, um, get that cold snap. So next up, we got a Masakre Massacre, and I believe we're going to go Hulk Busting again. Maybe we go Venom? Okay, yeah, we do go Venom. So Venom, the nice thing with Venom, he has an armor break um, on the heavy, and so you can see there I'm a stacking those cold snaps um, with the parry heavy, and then that was stupid because I've been doing... Um, heavies um, and mix master would have evaded that had it would had it been in range um, and then we, do, then we go and get hit got a dex this bat he throws at us um, and then here was a little bit of a mistake we end up throwing the special two um, he gets the armor up and then we kind of get in a cycle where um, he's just got armor up so we're trying to get to special one and we're just doing medium light so if you get in this in this case always hit into their block with a medium light that way you know generally when you're intercepting or whatnot you're usually throwing a medium and you don't want them to mix master so there we got out of it we num numbed we ate up some of his armors on the on the special one got a heal and then um, one of them had just plain expired. So medium light is the way to go if you're not gonna be able to stun. Um, and then you just wanna line up like a heavy on that 10th hit and you're pretty much good to go. Venom's got some awesome damage with the bleeds. He's just, he's really solid for this path. And then if you get to, what is it? 18 15 percent then it gets the true strike so technically i could be doing more hits there you can see the evade failed and they won't be able to evade from mix master so you can just do full combos and there you go which is really nice so masakura goes down next up we got gulk gladiator hulk and who do we use i think we're gonna use venom again and i think venom is probably the best option on this path for pretty much most of the fights because he just got easy access to the armor break plus he can eat up armor um armor up buffs on the special one so here you can see i throw the special one we eat up that armor and then we just keep going get the par the parry heavy with that armor break, we get those cold snaps, which are, you know, that's doing a decent, decent amount of damage. Um, it's nothing too, like, crazy. 
but uh, you know any damage over time you can get I'll take it especially I don't I don't really like fighting gladiator Hulk um, I often get caught on the special one for some reason but um, here he's got the charges and as long as we're getting up on a special one we can pretty much combo into him and then just throw that and then we don't have to worry about landing the heavy on that when the that blue fist timer shows nine um, because we're gonna eat it up and nullify it and we're gonna get some heal so I think in this fight I actually end up healing even though I got hit some and I had lost some health in the prior fights because of the armor ups um, we can eat those up and get some nice little heal and then we're just gonna bleed this dude out putting a little cold snap on him sweet he's got nine hits so this one we either want to do a heavy or go into a special one we're gonna try to bait out the special two we got the the true strike on so we, we can't be evaded so we can do a full combo and there we go so half of the line down pretty simple um, now this next one I totally screw this one up because I should I, I should have known better and I and I just for whatever reason it just spaced me but man God does an armor break on heavy just like venom but it's limited it's limited to how much hatred you have and you have to have at least two plus hatred so I was looking at what was left and I'm like okay I'm gonna take this guy with take Black Widow Deadly Origin with Mangog he's got some power control he's got the armor break he's got nullify on the special three um, he's got a stagger on the special one now, the problem is I just start heavy and like a freaking madman and I think I get to the 10th hit and I go for a heavy and I haven't been getting the armor breaks and therefore she gets an armor up and then it gets kind of yucky <laughs> to say the least um, so you can see I got the cold snap on the first heavy I'm not getting them on these subsequent heavies simply because I only have one hatred I need an extra hatred to get the armor break well how do you get the armor break you finish like a five hit combo well how do you do a five hit combo with mix master it's a little bit tricky you can do it but you have to do a parry, light, 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 medium, light, medium. And the first two lights, or the, the second light is under the stun, so that's why it doesn't get abated. But I didn't, I didn't do that. So here I'm like, hmm, what do I do? And I thought I was gonna get to a special three right there, and I didn't, I was short. Um, and yeah, now she's unblockable. And I'm getting shocked now. Mangog is immune to shock if he's got the 10 hatred, and then I get cornered. I'm just getting shocked. I'm getting shocked. Now she's got the evade charged. We throw the special two. We get some damage off. Throw the special one. We get the stagger off, but she's still she still got. And then I, what a whiff! What a whiff on the uh, relic there. Um, Still got an armor up though. We got two staggers. We're gonna throw another special. So you can throw specials back to back to back. And now you can see I do have nine hatred. So if I do get a heavy, um, I will get the armor break. Uh, we get a stagger. We got enraged, which is awesome. But now, I think we're just gonna get tagged somewhere. I, th I thought I, I thought I recovered this fight, and then I didn't. And then I didn't. I was gonna just keep spamming special ones, keep those staggers up, and then pretty much make sure that she doesn't um, doesn't go unblockable again. But somewhere I get tagged. I think I get tagged like here, trying to line up a parry or something. Oh yeah, there. We're not right somewhere in here so there you can see I did a light light medium light medium and I avoided mix master and then here I'm just gonna throw the special 
three and I just get clipped. So not a good showing. Manga could definitely take that fight. Um, definitely need to play it different and actually land my parries. Um, so we're just gonna go back in, finish with Venom. She's, I think under, is she gonna, are we gonna have, she's at 16%, yeah, so I get my true strike. So I can just straight go ham on her, which I am doing and I'm getting the bleeds. She can't evade me and she's gone. So there we go. Nice little cleanup. Now this next fight, we got Emma Frost. Emma Frost is an interesting one because, you know, to get her out of diamond form, you want to armor break her, but she can't be parried when in diamond form at the start. And I was going back and forth. Who do I bring? Who do I bring? We're going to go Hope Buster. Um, and you'll see how I end up taking this one. So I think the strategy is medium lights build up to special one and then throw the special one, stun her, and apply the armor break. There we go. And the armor break goes away. She's gonna have power, um, but she's out of her diamond form. So now we can parry and then we can heavy. Um, so granted, we went over a bar, so now she's back in diamond, but then we can just kind of do the same thing over and over again. Um, and we avoid the mix master, and then we can just special one or special two, either one gets us the armor break and uh, gets rid of that unblockable. And then I think here, I'm gonna have to get some, an intercept in and always medium light, always medium light on the mix master so that way you don't get evaded. Um, coming back in with like a second medium and back to back. So if you just hit once, then um, yeah, it's not gonna go so well. All right, nice, nice crits, nice crits on the heavy. Get the relic action in there. There we go. There we go. Get another heavy. Almost dead. And then we're gonna finish her off right here. So Hulkbuster did a great job. Really great for that. Using the specials to get the armor breaks. And then last up, we have Electra. Um, you know, she can be somewhat annoying. If you get tagged, you get bleeding, you know, you can't parry with her. If you have a debuff on, or you can, but the ability accuracy is reduced like 70% or something like that. We're just going to go in with um, Venom, and you can see there I did like a full five hit combo, and that was a light, light, medium, light, medium. That's how I'm getting um, past the Mix Master, and and then we're just num numbing the armor ups on the special one. Um, if we have the opening where it's like, at like nine hits, then um, we'll use uh, the heavy to get the armor break. There we go, nice 11K crit, getting a few bleeds on, getting the cold snap on. And you can do heavies all you want, so long as they're under the stun, you can do them back to back to back. Mix Master doesn't apply well under the stun. And yeah, she's, she's going down real nice. And again, I'm doing parry, light, light, medium, light, medium, do the mix master and you can do the double light simply because both of those hit while under the stun and there we go we're done with the path pretty easy pretty straightforward had the one slip up but um, not a big deal now we're gonna move up to the boss well we're gonna move up to the mini boss which again skip choice gotta click that one and the next one don't don't swap out any seven stars or anything like that you won't get credit for the path. Um, so we got a regular Gwenpool, 49,000. I'm not even sure why this fight is here. It's kind of a weird spot in comparison to all the other quests to have this like extra mini one. I mean, I guess there, I guess there is like a, isn't there like a Sentinel one somewhere in like Act 6 that's something like this? Maybe, if I remember right. But this is just like an arena fight. 
Okay, it's done. Guess we get some gold from it. Uh, I don't know, gold and XP. <laughs> Again, skip it, skip it, gotta skip it. And then we're at Gwen Master. So I had brought um, Storm, thinking that uh, we should be able to get some nice uh, specials with Prowess off on her. Because we have the juiced um, node taken down, we get like a fury every 10 seconds or something like that and then it just just keeps building so like your damage just goes insane um venom's also a solid option for this fight i would think gamora would be also really really solid for this fight basically all the champs that i have left mangog he would not be great i mean i guess i, I think anybody really can work here i'm looking at all the abilities um, but like you can you can pretty much if you have the if you have champs that can do massive damage particularly with their specials with um, getting the furies and stuff like you can kill uh, Gwen master in phase one um, and not have to go through all of all of her phases so that's what the one reason why I say whatever you can do try to go the juice path and that I just went on and that'll make this fight so 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 much easier um, and this is just me like reading. Let me see if I can I'm gonna fast forward through this at all I don't know how much more I'm looking at this thing. Where's my stuff? All right, there we go fast forward the rest of it and so yeah, we're gonna jump in with storm and So I, I didn't quite remember this fight like I know you have to like you want to intercept to pause the timer um, you should, we're going to have reverse controls, um, you know, you can parry, um, although you really want to intercept, and, um, which I really haven't gotten to a rhythm, not yet, and I can't remember, like, to get out of the phase and to build up the prowess on her, I think you have to throw, yeah, it's so right there, so I got a prowess. On, on Gwenpool you have to you have to have her above a bar and then you also be above the bar and throw a special um, And then I get I just eat the special one. I think I eat several special ones in a row here We get a third prowess I think I'm gonna eat this one. Yeah, I'm like sweet and then I think Do we We didn't we didn't get that one to count as a prowess that would have got us into the next phase but we're, we don't get the intercept, I'm trying to get the intercept, and then I eat another special one. So really terrible showing there. Um, and I was like, man, my my uh, inverted control special dexes were, I mean, I guess I, I, didn't even, I didn't even get dex. I was just like running, running into them. But uh, here, we're gonna go with the Hulkbuster, and Hulkbuster, you're gonna see is one, an absolute beast but I do get in a good rhythm here and uh, we rinse the rest of Gwen Master and the very end was we'll say a little bit lucky you can you can uh, comment on it what you think about the ending but it's, it's pretty sweet um, and you can see so right now I have two furies and then in a few seconds I'll go up to three I think it's every ten I have to double check but we're actually getting the inverted control dexes now. It's getting we're getting into like some nice little rhythm, and um, getting the intercepts. She's playing into it. We aren't getting the prowess, which is fine, right? I think we actually do end up getting the prowess. Uh, there we try to go hit into her block and she wasn't having it. And I'm like, okay, I'm getting whacked again. Gonna intercept to pause. And all right, so right here, I'm just like, okay, we're gonna go to special three. Sure, we're just gonna go for it. And look at the damage, we got seven furies. Too bad we didn't do this at the beginning. And we use the relic. We're just smashing away. We're getting the stuns. 
and we get a full combo in and oh she goes for the she goes for it i get another special one off she didn't go for the special three she paid for it and so he just runs through that so there we go we finished the path not too shabby didn't have to use items we had two casualties but claim the rewards we don't click to the end save us some energy exit and we say goodbye thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.